Well, it's been a, a really hectic first year. Um, I think that probably I, having been with the court for 23 years before I took this uh, job and having worked on just about every court committee uh, and a lot of liaison committees with the bar, uh, I thought that I would probably be less on the ground than I ended up being. And uh, I think it's in light of the, the resource issue. Uh, we know that judicial resources are still stretched even after the uh, positions having been created were busy filling positions and in fact 12 judicial positions in the province have been filled in the time that uh, I've been here as chief but we still have 12 to go essentially so that was um, a reality that I came into not only judicial resources that are stressed but and, and stretched but uh, administrative resources as well and by that I mean your support folks who make the system run efficiently your court clerks uh, judicial assistants and when you talk about physical plant the um, need for more courtrooms in certain areas of the province so the Supreme Court of Canada decision in Jordan which talked about the time frame being uh, a reasonable time frame being from charge to uh, a period of 30 months to trial in our court um, that that certainly requires a community approach so yes if we have more judges appointed it helps in a way but you also need the system to drive the case to our court uh, within um, a, a time frame that really shouldn't exceed 18 months uh, and so there are all uh, lots of moving parts that um, having a judge in place is part of but if you are challenged in terms of courtrooms for example red deer uh, they're building a new courthouse, so the plans are afoot to build the new courthouse. We're very happy about that, um, but we have a courtroom shortage there. In Red Deer, uh, Red Deer is one. In Fort McMurray, we have some issues as well as Grand Prairie. So the physical plant's a problem as well. And so we are actively uh, looking at what we as a court can do on the ground uh, creatively uh, to get through this difficult time, um, you know, the resource challenges that we have. We have cases that are unfortunately booked uh, long trials, that is trials over five days in Edmonton and Calgary, um, three to four years from now. It's unacceptable. If somebody would ask you what keeps you awake at night, uh, I would say that that's the that's the offender. When you're thinking about even family law trials, waiting that length of time, it's, it's unacceptable.